The letter S. Should it be pronounced S or Z? That's what we're going to find out today. How and when. The letter S. Is it pronounced S or Z? Well, today we'll find out. There's a timeline below. So if you're okay on the pronunciation and you don't need to know about the activity to practice that, you can jump to when to use these sounds if you see the letter S um, in written English anyway. Let's make sure we're using the correct technique. So S, the face forms a smile and air is hissing against the teeth with friction, it's called a frictive. And if you hold your throat, there's no vibration. It's not a voiced sound. There's no vibrating of the vocal cords. S, so that's S. Now, Z is exactly the same shape of the mouth. A big smile, exaggerate it. Z, this time, if you hold the throat, there is vibration of the vocal cords. Z. Try this activity just for a few seconds a day and it will really help your pronunciation technique so that you're more clearly understood. Greek cheese is delicious. Now really exaggerate and say those sounds much louder than in normal speech for the activity. Greek cheese is delicious that will really help you improve in just a short space of time so the s in cheese is pronounced z and the s on the end of delicious is pronounced s what i advise you to do in these activities in these exercises is to really exaggerate the position of the lips and the mouth and um, zzz, the vibration. Zzz. Uh, obviously, if you're saying to someone, oh, uh, this uh, Greek cheese is delicious. It's different from saying Greek cheese. <laughs> but if you do this as an, as, as an exercise, maybe in the morning when you're brushing your teeth, you look in the mirror and you say, you say, Greek cheese is delicious. Now, delicious ends in the letter S. And in this case, if you hold your throat and say, um, pronounce S, there's no vibration in the throat. It's not voiced S. But you, are, you have got the same position with uh, smiling, like a smiling S is how to use those sounds s and z. Uh, we're running out of time a bit here so in terms of how, when if you're looking at written English the written English words when to use these sounds for different combinations of letters I'll have to put that in the next video which I'll do as soon as possible so that's the quick lesson for today z versus s and look at that video that I put up here as well. Do remember to subscribe, please. Uh, ring the bell and you'll get notifications of new videos coming out. And do practice s and z and enjoy your easy English. Have a good day.